but we'll start off the first level with the forestry wood cutting it's actually quite decent experience and quite fun with the events here's 84 wood cutting 85 wood cutting coming in continuing to do teaks we're using the drop method and just repeating with the events a prayer level coming in the best way to, to train prayer on your on your iron man is the chaos altar of the world which gives 350 percent um, experience bonus here's the final level of the wood cutting which means we can now boost for redwood logs to complete the last elite diary so after the 90 wood cutting we was able to cut the redwood logs and here's me getting the current and kebos area um elite 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 tier completed this is really helpful because it allows me to teleport to hydra unlimited times a day so along with the um, unlimited teleports to hydra it also allows you to have um, a plus two prayer bonus over the standard one prayer bonus so ultimately this is the best in slot um, blessing you can get in the game so the runecraft grind is still um, ongoing, this will probably, probably be my next 99 I'll be getting, I'll be using the ZMI method um, along with the Dale Essence to achieve this, the experience rates are up to 100k per hour with this method. Here's another runecraft level coming in and this is level 93, 6 more to go. So just testing out the new blessing um, and doing some Hydra, this is just another Range level coming in at level 96. I ended up getting really, really lucky at Bandos. Uh, I ended up getting a Bandos hilt in my name, which is absolutely amazing now. And I'll be able to make the full God Sword along with the shards that I've currently got in my bank. Another Runecraft level coming in, and it's, this is level 94. Still continuing doing exactly the same methods as we've done with 91 to 94. And here's 95 room crafting. So I just noticed um, a couple of videos ago I got I managed to achieve the crafting level to create uh, anguishes and I've currently just been using my other teammates anguish and I thought I may as well just make myself one and then I've always got one in the bank so here is me making um, an anguish upgraded um, amulet. So I thought it would be time to actually make the first God Sword in the account on my name. Um, it's been a while since um, I've, I've made a God Sword. It brings back a lot of memories from, from the old school days. So you need obviously the three pieces of the God Sword shards along with the hilts. And you need to use these on the anvil. The best one to use is the Varrock. Um, it's just nearest and closest to the bank. Here's me making one section of it. Um, at this point I realised actually I needed to make all three so I went back to the anvil and did this again. This will give you the God Sword Blade. Oh, when you've got the God Sword Blade you can now put this onto a hill of your choosing. It just feels so so good doing this. Boom and we have the Bandos God Sword. Achieving a God Sword on any account, especially an Iron Man account or a group Iron Man account, is just such a good feel good factor. It's like a also like an end game content that you all need to you all need to kind of achieve. So I've just noticed um this is quite interesting actually, the price of the Zamorak in hilts in the past couple of months. So uh, they were priced at, at seven seven point six mil and I think they believe they're around twenty five mil now and that's because of some of the recent updates in OSRS. So after that break of making a few um PVM items I went straight back to Runecraft and here's the ninety six level of Runecrafting coming in. And ninety seven Runecrafting, we're literally there now. A couple of mil experience left and we'll have the ninety nine. Second to last level, 98 runecrafting, another couple of days and we should have the 99. So in terms of 99 runecrafting, um, the reason why I decided to just get this one out of the way, um, it will help with the runes and if I ever needed any money you can always, always sell the blood runes to the Alcarid rune shop. Um, for around 200 GP each so this will mean that any time I need to get other skills such as crafting or construction I'll have money to do those 
here's me buying the skill cape and after the skill cape it will just be going into the into the player owned house and stored there but it is another 99 off the list and it is quite a medium uh, medium length one in terms of time and money so we're trying to get trying to do as many as we can in terms of the harder ones first and leaving the easier ones to the last so the overall grind will be it will be easier So plans for the next um, update will be to push towards the second another 99, probably go up towards either mining or crafting as these will both help with other skills. So I just wanted to say thank you all for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next video.